this is the virtual coaches and coxswains meeting for the Atlantic 10 Conference Rowing Championships 2021 on Cooper River in New Jersey. I am Jessica McAleer, your chief referee. In a past life, I was a Division III athlete, graduated WPI in 04. I've been a referee for 15 years, and I'm joined by 11 additional referees from the Mid-Atlantic region in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Virginia, as well as our local organizing committee, the South Jersey Rowing Club. Uh, during this meeting, I'm going to go over the control commission, warm up, the start, racing, the finish, as well as overall general safety. When it's time to launch, remember to put on your own bow number before you arrive at the dock. And then as you approach, we're going to have either the coach or team assistant or the coxswain tug on all the heel ties and the bow ball for the referee to see. So the referee will not be touching the boat, but we ask you to do the checks for us. Uh, the limit will be one boat per side of the dock at a time. That's maximum 10 people. So four and eight, that's nine athletes plus one coach. As you head up to the start, please stay close to shore. There is a buoy line uh, separating the finish line from the launching cruise. Uh, you'll head up in lane zero. Uh, there is a pinch point at 500 meters. And then as you get around that pinch point, stay close to shore. And then you'll enter into a counterclockwise loop in that top 500 meter warm up area. Uh, once the previous race is gone, you're more than welcome to enter your lane and continue your warm-up in your lane until the start. Here's a map of the course. Uh, you'll be launching from the t uh, launch dock on the left side there. Uh, it's the one closest to the start. Uh, you'll see there is a buoy line. Uh, stay to the shore side of that to get around the finish line. You'll head up along the north shore. And then once you get around that pinch point at 500, again, that counterclockwise rotation. At the start, please be locked on at least two minutes prior. Uh, if you need to get your point, use sculling strokes rather than taking a full stroke so that it's easier for the stake boat holders to hang on. Uh, you will hear the alignment from the shore via a megaphone and the starter will also be using a megaphone and a flag. Uh, so we will do our best to start absolutely on time. This event is being live streamed. Uh, so if it's time to go and the starter sees that all the points are safe, the starter will begin polling. And it's your job to be a great coxswain and optimize your point by continuing to make micro adjustments during the polling process. Now there's three possible scenarios that could go wrong at the start. Uh, one is a false start. That's when a crew jumps the line before the starter says go. And this will be judged by the aligner judge at start. Uh, the race will be stopped. A warning will be assessed and then the race will be restarted. A second thing could be failure to start. And this is if a crew doesn't leave the start line when the starter says go. In that case, we'll stop the other crews. Uh, we'll ask you why you didn't go. Uh, if it's a good reason, uh, great. If it's not a good reason, a uh, warning might be assessed. And then we'll restart the race. The third thing is breakage. Uh, this is if something legitimately breaks. Uh, if that happens, please stop rowing and raise your hand within that first 100 meters of the start. If we see a crew stop with their hand in the air, we will stop the rest of the crews. We'll come over to you, find out what happened, assess the damage, determine whether it's a quick fix and we can start right away, or if we need to reschedule the race to give you some extra time to make the repair. For racing, please keep your boat and or tips within your buoy line. That is your water that you are entitled to. Any blades over the buoy line, that is outside your water and you're uh, forfeiting your protection of your lane. 
Uh, referees will only flag if you're at risk of interfering with another crew. So if you're behind and you want to row in a different lane, by all means, go ahead. But if you are the lead crew or ahead of someone else, uh, you cannot venture into their lane uh, and disturb their water. Uh, for the buoys, the first 100 meters are red, and then they go to yellow, and the last 500 meters are also red. And you will notice a large orange buoy on the outer uh, edge of the race course every 500 meters. At the finish, uh, look to the finish marshal if you are carrying weight so that you can show them the weight. Uh, we ask that you have your rowers remain sitting upright. Uh, if we notice any athletes collapsed, uh, we will assume they are in medical distress and send someone to them immediately. Now, if you have an objection, please get your hand up immediately to get the attention of the following referee. That referee will come over, uh, listen to you so that you can explain what happened and what remedy you are seeking. And then the referee will make a judgment, uh, either agreeing or disagreeing. And uh, if you disagree with the referee solution and you still feel strongly about your objection, you can elevate it to a formal written protest to be given to me or the chief judge at the finish line within one hour. General safety, we will have EMS on site during all race sessions. We also have a COVID mitigation plan in place. Uh, if any of your athletes have an inhaler, please have the inhaler with the athlete rather than with the coxswain uh, up in the stern or in bow loaded four. That way, if the athlete needs it, they have it immediately. If there are any other health concerns that you think we should be aware of to keep an eye out, please let me know. And other than that, good luck. Have fun. It's going to be a great day. Thank you.